Welcome to video number 3 for chapter 1 of Maths 2 Standard 9. Question number 3, sub question 5. Now this is continued from the previous video. We have distance x, y is equal to 15, distance y, z is equal to 7, distance x, z is equal to 8. Now distance x, z plus distance y, z is equal to 7 plus 8 or distance xz plus distance zy is equal to 15. Therefore, distance xy is equal to distance xz plus distance yz. Hence, points x, z and y are collinear. The point z is in between x and y that is x dash z dash y. Sub so question 6 we have distance de is equal to 5, distance ef is equal to 8, distance df is equal to 6. Now we, we shall try various possibilities. We have 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 which is not equal to the remaining side 6 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 which is not equal to the remaining side distance that is 5 and 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 that is not equal to the third one that is 8 since the sum of distances between two pairs of points is not equal to the distance between the third pair of points so the given points d e and f are non-collinear next question number four on the number line points a b and c are such that distance a c is equal to 10 distance c b is equal to 8 find distance a b considering all possibilities now with the given information only two possibilities are possible let us see what they are case 1 is where point c lies in between a and b we have distance ac as 10 and distance cb as 8 now we have ab is equal to ac plus cb that is 10 plus 8 which is equal to 18 Case 2, point B lies in between A and C. Distance AC is equal to 10 and distance CB is equal to 8. Therefore, AB would be AC minus CB. That is 10 minus 8. The answer is 2. Question number 5. Points x, y, z are collinear such that distance x, y is equal to 17, distance y, z is equal to 8. Find distance x, z. Now it is given that these three points are collinear. We have distance x, y as 17 and distance y, z as 8. Therefore, distance x, z would be the addition of both. 17 plus 8, the answer is 25. Question number 6. Sketch proper figure and write the answers of the following questions. Now the first one is a dash b dash c. Length ac is given to us as 11th. And BC is given to us as 6.5. This is the figure which we have. Length AC is equal to AB plus BC. Therefore, AB would be AC minus BC. That is 11 minus 6.5. The answer is 4.5. Next one, we have length ST 
given to us as 3.7 and length rs as 2.5 we have to find rt rt is the total of both so rt is equal to rs plus st which is 3.7 plus 2.5 the answer is 5.6 and the last one, length xz is given to us as 3 root 7 and length xy is given to us as root 7. We have to find yz. We know that xz is equal to xy plus yz. Therefore, yz would be xz minus xy which is equal to 3 root 7 minus root 7. So the answer is 2 root 7. Next is question number 7. Which figure is formed by 3 non-collinear points? Non-collinear points means points which are not in a straight line. If we take any 3 points which are not in a straight line we try to join them anyhow we are going to get only one particular figure and that is a triangle it can be a triangle of any shape this is this particular figure is given only for your reference a triangle is formed by three segments joining three non-collinear points a b and c are three non-collinear points when a b and c are joined we get triangle ABC. This is the last question for practice set 1.1. Now we move on to the next concept, which is the first one is line segment. The union set of point A and point B and points between A and B is called line segment. Segment AB is written as seg AB in brief and read as segment AB. Segment AB means segment BA. Both are the same. You can re read it as AB and BA. Point A and point B are called the end points. Point A and point B are called the end points of segment AB. The distance between the endpoints of a segment is called length. That is, length AB is equal to distance AB. Length AB is equal to 5 is also written as AB is equal to 5. Also remember that a line segment is finite. It is always, it has endpoints, hence it is a given, a given distance. The next is ray AB. Suppose A and B are two distinct points. The union set of all points on segment AB and the point P such that A dash B dash P is called ray AB. Here A is called the end point of ray AB. If you see ray has an on one side it has an end point and on the other side it has an arrowhead because it can be extended infinitely on this side in which we have an arrowhead. Such a figure is called as a such a it's it's a ray. Next is line A B. The union set of points on ray AB and opposite of opposite ray of ray AB is called line AB. The set of points of segment AB is a subset of points of line AB. Now if I extend this ray AB on this side as well and put an arrowhead, so arrowhead on both sides is called as line AB. If you know, I am sure you know that a line can be extended on both sides infinitely.
Next, congruent segments. If length of two segments is equal, then the two segments are congruent. If length AB is equal to length CD, then segment AB is congruent to segment CD. This symbol is called a symbol of congruency. Next is properties of congruent segments. The first one is reflexivity. Segment AB is congruent to segment AB. Every segment is congruent to itself. Second one, symmetry. If segment AB is congruent to segment CD, then segment CD is congruent to segment AB. If you see, it is a symmetry, like a mirror. Third one is transitivity. If segment AB congruent to segment CD and segment CD congruent to segment EF, then the first segment is congruent to the third segment. That is, segment AB is congruent to segment EF. Next, we have midpoint of a segment. If A dash M dash B and segment AM, AM is congruent to segment MB, then we have M as a midpoint of segment AB. Also remember, every segment has one and only one midpoint. The next one is how to compare or comparison of segments. If length of segment AB is less than the length of segment CD, it is written as segment AB less than segment CD or segment CD greater than segment AB. The comparison depends upon their lengths. Perpendicularity of segments or rays. If the lines containing two segments, two rays or a ray and a segment are perpendicular to each other, then the two segments, two rays or the segment and the ray are said to be perpendicular. For example, we have segment AB is perpendicular to line CD or it can also be said that segment AB is perpendicular to ray CD because here we can call this as an endpoint and ray CD. Distance of a point from a line. If segment CD is perpendicular to line AB, CD is perpendicular to line AB and D lies on line AB, then the length of segment CD is called as distance of point C from line AB. The point D is called as foot of perpendicular. Now suppose length CD is distance A, then C is at a distance of A from line AB. Next, we move on to practice set 1.2. We will continue with practice set 1.2 in the next video. This is all for now. Thank you for watching.